Hello, it's Candace from the Geeky Waffle, and I've been compelled to make this video because I can't stop thinking about this theory for WandaVision. The more I think about it, the more it makes sense. I think Evan Peters' Pietro is Nightmare. Okay, so in this past episode, episode six, they use the word nightmare twice. Hayward says it, we take her out, the whole nightmare's over, and Pietro says it's a big leap from giving people nightmares. And the first Doctor Strange director, Scott Derrickson, told IGN years ago he wanted to use nightmare in the dream dimension in his sequel. While Sam Raimi is directing, Scott is still a producer, and as we all know, Elizabeth Olsen is in that movie. And Kevin Feige has revealed that WandaVision would directly set up the next Doctor Strange movie. And in the comics, Nightmare usually always battles Doctor Strange. Also in episode 6, Billy Maximoff, who takes after his mother, power-wise at least, thinks that his uncle is a vampire. Nightmare has the ability to draw, or should we say suck, the power from psychic energies of the subconscious minds of dreaming beings. When we see the residents of Westview, they seem to almost be in a daze, like they're sleepwalking through their new role. Is someone encouraging Wanda to keep this going? Maybe to feed on this dreamlike energy? Chris Killian pointed out the Pietro is the shark in the commercial, where we see the child's life literally being sucked out. He says little dude, and then Pietro says little dude. Also, they both say bro. Overall, I think Mephisto is just a red herring because we've been hearing talk of the devil from the very beginning. It's kind of just like how we're supposed to believe that Wanda is in charge of all this. It's too soon. And one of Marvel's biggest markets, China, banned any media that promotes the cult or superstition. And Mephisto is literally the Marvel's devil. And I can't see Marvel trading away one of their biggest box offices just for a chance to bring this one character in. So Nightmare, while he looks demonic in a lot of the comics, he could be made more into a supervillain. And he does live in another dimension. And we got multiverses coming up. It makes sense for this to be Nightmare. And it makes sense for Pietro or Peter or Evan Peters' character to be Nightmare. Because Wanda, by the end of the episode, does not trust this guy she literally launches him across the town square. And before he was asking all these questions that felt more like an interview, not something that a brother would ask. And speaking of brother, he says, I'm not your husband, I'm not a stranger. But he never says, hey, I'm your twin brother. You know me since utero. And yes, it's weird to bring Evan Peters from the X-Men universe into this universe and not have him be Peter. But this show is so meta. This casting could just be for us. And they literally wink at the camera and say, we gotcha. So what do you think? Do you think it's Mephesto? Do you think I'm way off with this nightmare theory? Or maybe it's a mix of both Nightmare and Mephesto like my friend Laura said. That could be interesting. They could be creating a whole new character. Anyway, I can't wait to see what happens next. And I know the next three episodes are gonna be marvelous. Please subscribe, like and subscribe. That's what YouTubers say, right? So please, yeah, like and subscribe. I appreciate it. And join us on Fridays at 10 p.m. for WandaVision Rewind Live.